In September 1992, a group of foreigners conceived of an idea to reproduce an ancient replica of one of the oldest and largest brocade tonkas in the world. This is a true story of this project, now completed. Supur Monastery has been the home of all the 17 Karmapas since the 12th century. Presently housing over 400 monks, it resides at an altitude of 14,700 feet. His Holiness, the 17th Karmapa, who is 10 years old, presently lives in the very top of this recently reconstructed temple. A statue of the 16th Karmapa inside this temple reminds those who met him of the power of his compassionate activity. He traveled extensively throughout the world performing the sacred Vajra crown ceremony being performed here. Before he passed away in 1981, he wrote a prediction letter seen here accurately foretelling exact details to enable his close disciples to find his new incarnation. His Holiness the 17th Galwa Karmapa was born in Kham, Eastern Tibet, on June 26, 1985, to a simple nomad family. He was found according to the precise instruction of the letter. His Holiness the Dalai Lama gave his official seal of approval on June 30, 1992, confirming that this is the true incarnation of the previous 16th Karmapa. Shortly after, he was formally enthroned at Surpu Monastery in Tibet on September 27, 1992, by His Eminence Thai Situ Rinpoche and Goshur Galtsep Rinpoche. Over 20,000 people attended this sacred ceremony. These are His Holiness Karmapa's parents, his father, Dundruptashi, and his mother, Loga. Here they relate to us some of the auspicious dreams they had and some of the miraculous events surrounding their son's birth. At the time of the enthronement, His Holiness, the 17th Karmapa, Urgen Trinli Dorje, received this book from a Beijing government representative formally acknowledging the Chinese government's full acceptance of the recognition of this child Tukul as the Karmapa. He was the first Tukul to be formally recognized by the government since the Cultural Revolution. Throughout the history of Tibet, it has been a religious cultural tradition that the larger monasteries display an enormous tanka once or twice a year. It is a spectacular event usually drawing many thousands of people and said to impart a very special blessing to those fortunate enough to attend. The founder and director of Tsurpu Foundation, an organization set up to raise funds for the Karmapas monasteries in Tibet, is Ward for the Holmes. Last year, Westerners named Terrace Temple and Leslie have been making a, a tanka for Tsurpu Monastery. And today, being May 22nd, we are, this will, is a very historic day, for, as it will be the first day that, that the Tonka will be displayed to the public and to His Holiness the 17th Karmapa, who is here now residing at Surpa.
The work of making this amazing piece of art began after much calculated planning on August 25, 1993, in a tent factory in Plaza. The work took over a year to complete. Here we see over 75 monks carrying this one-ton piece of artwork to the place where it will be displayed every year on the 12th day of the 4th Tibetan calendar month, usually May or June. The last time this ceremony took place was in 1958, before the 16th Karmapa went into exile at Rumtek Sikkim in India. It was rumored that the previous Tonka was destroyed during the Cultural Revolution in 1966 and 67. There is an air of excitement now as His Holiness the 17th Karmapa steps out to view the Tonka from the roof of the main temple. This being the first time that it has been displayed to the public since its completion, His Holiness was very pleased to see this amazing Tonka and was continually asking questions and talking about it. With Lama Tomo next to him, he watches in anticipation along with many thousands of people who have gathered for this special event as the Tonka is unfolded. was carefully laid down on the large tiered steps as protection from direct contact with the ground when the tonka is unfolded. With a row of monks at the top of the wall holding it steadily in place, another row slowly unrolls it at the same time as they carefully step down the steep face of the wall. On the morning of May 22nd, 1994, around 10.30, the tanka was displayed for over three hours. A traditional thin yellow silk cloth is unveiled, used as a protection for the tanka as the crowds of over 3,000 stand in awe, viewing one of the largest and most beautiful masterpieces of Tibetan Buddhist artwork. The tanka is made from 2,000 meters of silk dyed into 70 different colors. As is the custom, people are filled with joy to have the opportunity to offer scarves and place their heads to the base of the tanka for blessings. It is considered extremely sacred just to see it, not to mention coming close to it. The Tonka is about 60 by 100 feet, with Buddha Shakyamuni in the center. Terrace Temple is the one responsible for designing this piece of art along with his partner and associate, Leslie Nguyen. This is Katya Oberwelland, who helped with the project as associate director with Tsurpu Foundation, and Ward Holmes, who had the idea to reproduce this Tonka. Tashi Topgel is the president of the Tent and Garment Factory in Hlasa, who worked under the instructions of Terrace and Leslie. Next to him is his director, Zedin Dundrup, and Tempa Rapke. They all worked with seven other workers. The total cost of the Tonka came to be about 43,000 US dollars. All the workers and people directly involved with the project 
received the traditional honorary white scarves in thanks from those representing the monastery. The group went to the main temple where His Holiness was watching the event to offer scarves to him. The Venerable Drupin Dechen Rinpoche said that now, because the Tonka has reappeared and His Holiness has blessed the Tonka, that there will be many big events in the world and they will bring blessings of peace in the future. This is Dorje Chang, the primordial tantric Buddha from which the Kaju lineage began. The first Karmapa, Dusum Kempa, founded Surpo Monastery in the year 1205. Karmapakshi, the second Karmapa, built the famous Surpur Lachen. He is often used in meditation practices in the lineage. This is Maitreya Buddha, known as the future Buddha. Left side is Manjushri, and he represents the wisdom mind and holds a sword which cuts through ignorance. In the lower left corner is the 16th Karmapa. The bottom right side is the third Jamkun Kontra Rinpoche, one of the closest disciples of the 16th Karmapa. Mahakala Bernachen. This is the main Dharma protector of Tsurpu. Here, Terrace and Leslie tell us a little of their interesting story in completing the Tonka. Terrace has been painting Tonkas for over 30 years, but this is the first applique Tonka he has ever done. He is from Hawaii, and Leslie is from London, England. She is a psychologist in art therapy and has studied and practiced Tonka painting for over five years. In 1966, when I first began learning Tonka painting, I never would have believed that I would have been able to work on something exactly like this 
for <laughs> such a wonderful monastery. And now we get to see it, and it makes it uh, a dream fulfilled. Uh, the last five years, I've been working with Leslie Nguyen, teaching her Tonka painting, and without her help, this would never have been possible. When first the idea came to make this Tonka, it was unbelievable, and it still is today. So this marvelous adventure has um, been quite incredible to see how it's been unfolding since, since it was an idea a year and a half ago. And after that, which we started working in a tiny bungalow in Thailand, starting making drawings and watching them grow from millimeter size to this size. Um, we've also been traveling a lot to get the materials, mainly in Hong Kong, where we had an incredible amount of help from the Dharma Center and Lama Kel Sang there. And then it put us onto another path to going hunting for more silks in China. So we've been incredibly fortunate, incredibly fortunate to have the blessings of Karmapa, which has led to no obstacles and only an unfolding of, a, of an incredible work. I have to give my greatest gratitude to my teacher, who has given me solid and continuous hard work and teachings. And um, just to share the wonderful moment of, of having this tradition start again in Surpu since the late 50s was the last time that this actual ceremony actually happened. Atya, an associate director of Surpu Foundation, tells us of some of her experiences with the project really deeply impressed how how beautiful it turned out to be and that it went without any obstacles and just right away nine months of sewing with very devoted people working on it in the Lhasa 10 factory and Leslie and Terrace just doing an amazing uh, job with the total blessing of Karmapa in their back otherwise I think this never could have been happened and I'm, I'm really so happy that it, it looks like this and uh, that it, uh, that it really came true. Thank you. Umse Chuptin Sangbo traveled many times to the West with the 16th Karmapa and is presently the reading teacher of the 17th Karmapa, Urgen Trinli Dorje. He said that this Tonka, one of the largest in the world, has fulfilled one of their dreams at Surpu. This will help to keep world peace and prosperity, so he again thanks all the artists and sponsors. Tashi Topgel, president of the Hwasa Tent Factory, said it was a wonderful opportunity and a great honor to be involved in such a unique and important project. It was the first time he had ever worked on a large tanka and learned very much from the experience. As the interview drew to a close, so did the three hours that the tanka was displayed. It is now being closed and rolled up until next year when it will be displayed again. Lama Lodger, authority in charge of rebuilding Sulpu Monastery, says thanks on behalf of the entire monastery to all those who worked so hard on behalf of this project. 
This special donation of the Tonka will bring much happiness for generations to come. Thank you all. After the Tonka was stored away, His Holiness Karmapa gave blessings to the thousands who had gathered for this historical event. It is said that whoever sees, hears, or has been touched by the Karmapa will quickly be released from the suffering of samsara. Here the Karmapa receives one of his first English lessons given by Yongdu. Yeah, very good. Yeah, yeah,